Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video we are going to take up another very interesting and challenging question from algebra. Here we have x power 5 plus 1 over x power 5 equal to 198 given that x is real number. Then it is said to find out or evaluate square root x times cube root x plus 1 over square root x times cube root x. So let's get started by writing required expression equal to e first and we have a square root x involved and from the given equation also we can write x must be positive. Now we can write our expression first e can be written as root x or square root x x power half cube root x x power 1 over 3 plus 1 over x power half times x power 1 over 3. Now we will apply one powerful exponential law a power b times a power c. This would be equal to a power b plus c. So we are going to add exponents here. We will write x power half plus 1 over 3 plus 1 over x power half plus 1 over 3. Now we will add two fractions. 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 is 5 over 6. So we will write x power 5 over 6 plus 1 over x power 5 over 6. Now x is positive, so we are going to get e positive for sure. Now I will consider here substitution. Let's say x power 5 over 6. Suppose this is equal to y. Now I will put power 6 both sides. So let me write here power 6 and this side also will put power 6 a power b whole power c is a power b times c. So 6 and 6 will get over. We will get x power 5 in LHS. RHS is y power 6. Now we can transform our known equation in terms of y. x power 5 is y power 6. So we will write y power 6 plus 1 over x power 5 is 1 over y power 6 equal to 198. This is our known equation now. And we are going to evaluate expression x power 5 over 6 is y. So we will calculate y plus 1 over y value. Remember, once x is positive, y must also be positive. So I will write for real x, y must be greater than 0. Now our target is to find out y plus 1 over y. And known information is y power 6 plus 1 over y power 6 equal to 198. Now I will write here y power 6 plus 1 over y power 6 equal to 198. And target expression is y plus 1 over y. Now we will assume y is square plus 1 over y is square. Suppose this is equal to a. Now we will consider cubing both sides. So let me write here power 3 both sides. Power 3, power 3. Now we are going to use a plus b whole cube formula in LHS here. So we can write y square whole cube plus 1 over y square whole cube a cube plus b cube plus 3ab. So 3 times y square times 1 over y square 3ab is done times a plus b y square plus 1 over y square. This is equal to a cube. Now we will use exponent law a power b whole power c. We will multiply both the parts. 
so here we are going to multiply 2 with 3 power will be 6 here we are going to multiply 2 with 3 power will be 6 y square and y square we will cancel y square plus 1 over y square is a our substitution so we can write our equation y power 6 plus 1 over y power 6 plus 3 times a equal to a cube now y power 6 plus 1 over y power 6 is 198 then we have 3a rhs is a cube now we'll take all the terms to rhs and write our cubic equation a cube minus 3a minus 198 equal to 0. Let's solve this cubic equation first. Then we will calculate y plus 1 over y by putting a value here. y square plus 1 over y square equal to a. Let me write cubic first. a cube minus 3a minus 198. We can write 198 as 216 minus 18 equal to 0. Now we will write a cube minus 3a minus 216 plus 18 equal to 0. Now 216 we know this is 6 cube. So a cube minus 6 cube. Then we will write minus 3a plus 18 equal to 0. Now we can apply a cube minus b cube identity here and we can write a minus 6 in first bracket times in second bracket we will write a square plus 6a plus 6 a square 36. Then we will take minus 3 common from these two terms and get minus 3 times a minus 6 equal to 0. Now a minus 6, a minus 6, we will take a minus 6 overall common. So in other bracket we are going to write a square plus 6a plus 36 minus 3 equal to 0. Or we can write a minus 6 times a square plus 6a plus 33 equal to 0. Now we will use product 0 rule. We can write either a minus 6 equal to 0 or a square plus 6a plus 33 equal to 0. So we will begin with our first equation a minus 6 equal to 0. Now we will add 6 to both sides plus 6. Now we can cancel plus and minus 6 from LHS. We will get a equal to 6. Our first real value of a. a equal to 6. Now we will consider our quadratic equation. Second equation a square plus 6a plus 33 equal to 0. Now we are going to check the discriminant value here. Once discriminant is positive, then we are going to get real solutions. Otherwise complex, we can reject easily. So discriminant is b square minus 4ac. Here b is 6, so we will write 6 square minus 4 times a is coefficient of a small a square value is 1, c is constant value is 33. 6 square is 36, 4 times 33 is 132. This difference will come out minus 96. Discriminant is negative. We are going to get complex solutions. As we are looking for reals only, we can reject this quadratic equation. Reject it. So the accepted a value would be a equal to 6. So I will write here a equal to 6. And the value of a was y square plus 1 
over y square equal to 6. Now we will add 2 to both sides. So let me write here plus 2 and we will write here plus 2. Now I can write y square plus 1 over y square plus 2 times y times 1 over y equal to 6 plus 2 is 8. Now I can compare y equal to a. So a square plus b square plus 2ab in LHS which can be written as a plus b whole square. So from left hand side we will write this is y plus 1 over y whole square and RHS is 8. Now we will take a square root to get our final answer but we will get positive and negative value both. Let me write here y plus 1 over y whole square equal to 8. Now we will consider a square root both sides. We will get y plus 1 over y equal to plus minus square root 8 which can be written as 2 root 2. Now x is positive for real x, y is also positive for real x. Once y is positive, addition of two positive numbers cannot be negative. So this minus would be rejected. So we will get our required expression e, y plus 1 over y equal to 2 square root 2. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.